Hey guys, Crewman here, and in this video, we're going to repair a 5800X CPU, and what I'm basically going to do is, since I figured out a way to use my tripod to solder uh, on camera, I'm basically going to go over how I repair. I'm going to probably take this uh, random crappy CPU, and I'm going to do a quick repair first on it, because I can't break it, just kind of show you how it's done, and then I will do a repair of the CPU and then I'm gonna see if it posts. So I will put timestamps in the video. I'm not gonna fast forward any of it. So you can skip right to, I'll put you know the timestamp of me actually showing you how to repair it, then me repairing the 5800X and then me posting it. So you can honestly just skip to whatever parts you want or watch the whole thing. I think there's a lot of cool information on it and that's why I kind of just wanted to leave it mostly raw and show you how I do repairs. Um, it's not glamorous, it's harder than it looks, but it's pretty rewarding when it's done. So without further ado, let's get into the video. And in this video, I'm going to attempt to repair this Ryzen, I don't know if you can see, there we go, this Ryzen 7 5800X3D. So I think I can make this work. I'm trying to film where I actually solder it. I've never been able to do that before, and I think my camera will let me do that. What I am going to do real quick, uh, there's one broken pin on this. Um, what I'm going to do is I have this uh, 2200G that has like 500 bent pins. I bent back most of them, but I, ri I broke it. So basically now it's just a donor. I, I was just trying to see if I could repair it because I was bored one day. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull a pin off of it and I'm going to try to put the said pin back on because I haven't done this in a while and I don't really feel like messing this one up because it's such an easy, in my head it's an easy repair whether or not I do it right, that's another story. So I've got, I've got a bunch of pins on my, oh, I got one less, I got a bunch of pins on my repair mat already which is kind of neat. So I don't have to worry about it. So this is kind of cool that I can actually show you this. I've never been able to do this before. Um, so we're going to just try to pull off a random pin on the side. And then I'm going to try to solder one back on. So you want to put your elbow, you want to brace your elbows against something. Uh, and you want everything to be heat resistant. Um, I've got the Gamers Nexus mat next to me, and I'm using this random repair mat that I use as well. They're both heat resistant. So I'm just sitting it right here. This is just a donor, uh, a donor CPU as well, so if I, fuck, if I mess it up, I don't care. You want to just let the hot air sit on it for a minute. I can also use Flux if I want. All right, there we go. I got a bunch loose. You have to actually be really careful that you don't loosen like three. So here I just got like three out. All right, so we're going to call that one a botch. We're going to try again on another part because I don't want to pull three out. I just want to pull one out. It's part of this. Oh, I just pulled too many out. So if you think you're going to, um, if it's too hot, you want to pull back because it's just going to cause you more problems down the line. So let's just assume I pulled back. Like if you if you think you're gonna botch it, let it dry, uh, and like just basically reset yourself. So we're gonna pull this one in the middle right here. Nope, I pulled two by mistake. All right, can I put this one back on now? Let's see if I can put it back on. All right, so we got two out, so that's perfect. We're gonna see if we can put both of those back in. So we're gonna stop for a second. Uh, we're gonna get my flux paste. You don't wanna grab the wrong kind of paste because I accidentally grabbed the solder paste one time from here. All right, so here's my, my flux paste. Don't quote me on this, but I think it just makes it get hotter faster, the area that you flux, so that the whole thing doesn't get hot right away, and you don't end up yanking like six pins like I just did. It looks ugly though. Like you, once you see a flux stain, it doesn't go away. So we're gonna put 
don't know if you guys can see it. We're going to put flux. We're going to put some flux right here. This, so I'm not going to tell you this is easy to do because I've definitely botched a few of these. I just technically botched one right here. Um, and you can see, I don't know if I can show you this. Let me try to get the light on it. This is one of my donor pins. You pull a lot of them off. And then I also use FX pins if you want because FX pins are a little taller and they make repairing it just a tiny bit easier. All right, so let's, we've got the, the paste on. You wanna kind of like make sure you can easily, like holding these, so people recommend using stencils. I never liked them. I never thought they worked. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just, you kinda wanna put it at the right angle. Be careful this thing is probably still hot. And then you just kind of want to drop it on. I like tweezers that have a hole, like I don't have to hold the tweezer steady the whole time. I can't speak. Okay, so you want to make sure, you kind of want to make sure that you want to see the, the solder melt. And then you drop it on and you quickly move the air away because you want it to harden fast. I'm going to pull off because I botched it real quick. I'll, uh, I'll let you skip. I'm going to put chapters in this video so you can kind of, if you want to watch this whole thing, you can. If you want to skip to the fun stuff, you can. I actually don't, bear with me on the light. I'm, I'm not really used to this. Um, and you can buy cheap Amazon heat guns. This is an expensive one because I... I use it for GPUs. All right, this is fit. I'm just kind of test fitting it. Once the pins are hard, they don't move. I mean, they can move. People can break them, which is how I end up getting them. But, all right. It's almost melted, almost there. All right, now you quickly pull away. Quickly take the lock out. All right, it's done. It's good. Now let's do the last one. I'm gonna let this dry for a second. It can go fast. <laughs> like, that was a good one, but it can also be haywire. And also, one other thing. When you repair these, Bent pins are different than broken pins. When you repair these and you put them in a system, if you bend some back too, you might have to like tap it down a little bit and that is, that is okay, guys. And when you put this in a system, I would advise to not ever take it out. If you're gonna sell it, sell it as a combo. Um, I mean, you can probably take it out and it'll be safe, but I wouldn't advise it. Like I, I would just uh, leave it in there forever, basically. And, you know, the higher end CPUs, like a 5800X3D, no one's ever going to replace that from a motherboard. So generally it'll be all right. This one will probably end up in my test bench and I don't foresee myself uh, ever getting rid of it. If anything, I'll just turn it into a gaming PC down the line. If I ever leave AM4 on my test bench. All right, so now we're going to get the second one. And I'm not, um, I'm not fast forwarding this just because I want you to see actually how long it takes. This is all real time. Or maybe I will. All right, it's almost ready. All right, pull it back quickly. Close my eyes and pray. Did it stay? Did it stay? Nope. This one got... No, it's in. But we we have another one loose. And this kind is the most dangerous kind. This is the kind that... I'm not... I'm kind of wasting my time doing this, but it's okay. 
This one is the kind that if you mess it up, you're going to pop a pin or you're going to pop a pad and you're going to ruin it. So you really, really got to be careful. When you have one that's slightly hanging off like this, you got to really, really loosen it. There we go. All right, now we're going to try again. All right, looks like we're good. Nope. Oh. All right, we're gonna stop for a second. Now this is the funny thing is this is a hypothetical repair. I'm just showing you how you do it. This is like a practice for me. But this is definitely not easy to do. All right, so I didn't get it. Um, it just shows you how hard these repairs can be, actually, guys. I got two of them. One got loose, and it just came off. The other three are good, or the other two are good. I'm not going to go on any further. I got what I needed to do. Now we're going to do the Holy Grail. I think I'm ready. Um big thing with this one is first all right so we're gonna now we're gonna go with it the big thing is these are still really hard to do I feel like anybody who says this is easy is full of it because uh, I got to remove this where is it I got to remove this one right here and somehow not botch the job all right. The corner pins are the easiest and the hardest. I think it's really hot over here, so you have to be really careful. All right, and it's off. That was a little dangerous, but it's off. Nothing's messed up, so now I'm gonna let it cool down real quick because I don't want to have any problems. The other one I kind of rushed through. I just wanted to show you guys, and I kind of just wanted to get myself, like, get a feel for it again. All right, so this one's out, so we're going to drop some flux on it. It just makes it look ugly, and you can... If you ever want to see if a pin is, uh, CPU has been repaired, look for the flux stains. Um, let me see if I got one with flux stains. Um, this one has flux stains. Oh, it's hot. Never mind. Anyway, you can eventually see a flux stain on it trying to get this can I can't get this camera much closer all right um, I'm sorry if the lighting is poor it's just really hard to show you all right 
but I've never been able to show you soldering it before, just bending the pins. So this is kind of cool. So the flux is, I'm going to put some more flux in. And then essentially it's just like you drop it in, you pray, and then you got to wait. And I'm going to have to take apart my test bench to wait. All right, just pre-fitting it. All right, this should be good. Moment of truth, guys. Watch that. Let's start again. If you don't feel, also, if you don't feel like you're going to do it right, you kind of just want to start over. And there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. All right. So tweezers are fixed. I found a pin I like. I have it locked in my tweezers where I can just easily... One hand to drop it in. All right, so you're not gonna believe this, but the battery died on my camera literally as I was putting the last pin back in on this thing. And I got it in and I had to rebend some pins back and I got them in. Um, this is gonna go in here permanently and if it works and it's never gonna leave. So we are going to slowly force out I don't know why this one was hard to get out it's a work it's not a it's not one that I fixed all right so now the moment of truth when you put a repaired CPU in it's never gonna fit right ladies and gentlemen you're gonna have to like you're gonna have to like shove it in like that you're never supposed to do that you are absolutely positively never supposed to shove a CPU in like that, but it'll be fine. All right. Thanks, Deep Cool, for all of this extra thermal paste you guys provide with your AK620s. Uh, we're just going to rest this thing on here. I just want to see if it posts. I don't care. Um, I'm going to use this 4060 Ti since it's right here. I don't care if. It stays on for just a second, and that's why we're going to unplug all of my motherboard, my hard drives, because I don't need to bork another copy of Windows. This is always nerve-wracking, guys. Like, it's fun because it's it's really low risk, and it's such a high reward. But like, you're like, is it going to post? Is it going to post? All right, so, um, all right, so you see it right there. Um, I should probably attach one of these fans. Oh, this is so nerve wracking. All right, I have to slide this test bench back over and not cut anything or break anything in the process because I'm stupid and didn't give my CPU, or I'm, st I'm sorry, my power supply wire a lot of clearance. All right, so. Here we go, guys. The moment of truth. We're gonna turn it on. Wait, wait, wait. 15, what's 15? Um, nothing, let me turn it off. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, guys in post! Yeah! Right, it works. We fixed it. Ah, new new processor. I finally got the upgrade my test bench deserved. This thing has started out with a 2700X that I found broken. And now we're up to a 5800X 3D. It is fixed. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. We're going to try to... I forgot how much I missed CPU repair. Crew man, out.